Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Christine here and welcome to this week's Friday self-love oracle. I'm just clearing the space and the cards. I'm totally feeling a self-love, love vibe. Look at these cards, just the colors. I intuitively like to pick the decks, but I always pick this one. I notice a lot of the love, I'll just say broadly speaking, love decks on the market, they're all focused on just other types of love, like romantic. It's hard to find self-love. So maybe that's an inspo for some people to create them and also to tap into Oracle. So we will get started. I hope your week has been well. I just love these cards. Let me show you. They have a bunch of others. Affirmators. The colors are beautiful and the feel of the cards if any of you have sensory preferences, <laughs> you will love these cards. Look at this. They're just so so bendy. They're comfortable. They're soft. They're joyful. They have really good energy. The graphics are beautiful. If you love animals, that's where I have this other one that I used in the weekly reading. I love it. It's just really uh, joyful. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna shuffle a little bit more. I try to remember to shuffle before the videos, but it doesn't always happen. So I appreciate your patience. Okay. Okie dokes. What is today's message? And remember, these are timeless. We got the first card. I'm going to pull the rest. Bear with me, please. I'm pulling here from the Work Your Light Oracle, Rebecca Campbell's. I was calling this Starseed. <laughs> I think there are elements, but this is working your light. And I feel like it's particularly helpful for those on self journey because it's about you. I'm and how not just you can grow within your own journey, but use your own light, your own love to help others. Excuse me. I just got a call and I usually take, take the volume down. What is it? Turn the volume off. These are loud. Hold on. Okay, it's all about the technique. It's all about and how you shuffle. Okie dokie. Let's pull. <laughs> the card just fell. Okay, we will take it. I'm like, that's way too easy. I'm getting a sense of excitement right now. Some of you are really, really... You're working on yourself, but I feel an excitement there. You have plans. Maybe I'm tapping into the Taurus energy ruled by Libra. A lot of you will be going on, like creating your own path, dating yourself, going out, re-engaging with things you love, getting to know yourself on a deeper level. A lot of you have just recently, I just see like starting this journey. And it's absolutely fun. Okay. Okay, let's pick a card here. And this is the Super Attractor by Gabrielle Bernstein. I like it, this deck, because it provides almost like a mantra affirmation of sorts to leave you with. Words really do change your reality, but it's hard when you come from a place that you're still working on your healing journey, self-love, to be like, I'm gorgeous or I love myself. And not because you may not 100% believe it, but it's, it's maybe uncomfortable. And so these are things I always recommend, reciting, getting curious about it, journaling about it maybe countering any beliefs about it because it brings up a lot i'm just getting that especially i'll say with feminine energies there's just so much judgment about oh we got one about what we should look like okay guys gals everyone we got independence for this love and relationship card I embrace total independence and I see how empowering that is. 
I'm going to show it to you before I finish reading. There's the light here. Look at this. Even when I'm in a relationship, I can still be independent by meeting my own needs and creating my own happiness. When I do that, I'm the fullest version of myself and I have much more of me to give without needing pieces of me in return. A lot of you are working on balancing your inner masculine and feminine energies. Many of you have recently become single and or are, excuse me, and or are in partnerships, but many of you are are fiercely independent or are on the independent path right now and a lot of you value this and it's so important I have to say for those of you that are dabbling in dating or are in partnerships especially new ones because you know the honeymoon phase and all that it's easy to have the other person's energy overwhelm you uh, be sure not to lose yourself be careful of codependency and also be careful of hyper independence too but this is such a strong message of empowerment, I'm feeling. Many of you are excited to really explore this path. For those, for my single gals and guys and anyone, when I say gals and gals, I don't refer to any gender. Uh, many of you are going down this journey. I'm just feeling like an adventure with yourself. And I feel like this is just the start. I'm getting right now, for the end of the year, I see a road. And for those looking, it doesn't mean that you're not going to find love. But I feel like the love, it starts with you. It's the first building block. <laughs> Some of you may be asking, I'm getting immediately, am I going to find love? Even though this is a self-love. And I hear the question right now is no. Wait, postpone, pause, say no. I feel like many of you at this time are working on your own building blocks. We're stepping into Taurus season. I talked about this in the weekly reading. Taurus is ruled by Venus. We The sun changes from Aries to Taurus, or it already did by the time you, you get this message. On Tuesday, this past Tuesday, the 19th, the sun went into Taurus. And Venus obviously rules love, beauty, relationships, foundation. Many of you are working on your own independence, working on your own needs, working on securing what you want. Not just financially, but in terms of relationships. Some of you are coming out of relationships, I feel, and working. This is all about you, your love of self. You're working on what you want. And so I feel like the no, it's not permanent. It's like, no, you're never going to meet your partner, your life partner, or you're never going to find love. No, I'm not getting that at all. But I feel like for this moment, I always say, look at the short-term time frame. For this month, focus on you. Pause. Some of you may not be ready to go into the dating pool. I feel I'm getting a lot of questions like, when am I finding love? Can I date? What? <laughs> I don't know why. Some of you remember it, especially if you've left relationships, if you are a serial dater, if you haven't been alone. Read this. You may have to cultivate independence. The best way to learn how to be alone and be okay with yourself and love yourself <laughs> is to actually be alone, stop stop dating. So pause, take yourself on dates, plan those. Learn what, re-engage with, with yourself and learn what you love. Some of it is new. Some of you may be in your early 20s, 30s, 40s. It doesn't matter your age, but we grow. Things we used to like to do in different ages, we may not do anymore. So a lot of you are relearning a lot about yourself. This is exciting. Here's what we got. I release time and let the universe show me what to do. You all, this is tied here. Look at this. I release time and let the universe show me what to do. You all are working on your heart chakra. I see it from the colors. This is beautiful. Many of you are also getting spiritual messages relating to love, but also self-love. Some of you are healing right now. Wow, this was a little bit of a lot for this for this week's Friday Love Oracle, but I hope it helps. Remember the journey of love starts with you. It really does. When you the more you work on healing, things that trigger you, healing any traumas and wounds that you have grown up with, that you have encountered, and really cultivating that love of self for your, 
for you and exploring what that means, the more apt you are to be prepared in that relationship. And I'm not saying it has to be 100%. Some of you have to release control about when you're going to find this love. It, it's really about you. You have to flip it. And some of you may need to be working on balancing that inner harmony between your inner and masculine and feminine energies. I hope this reading helped this week for someone. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm wishing you all a beautiful rest of your week, weekend. Take care and see you soon.